So one of my favorite types of video games to play is, of course, pro wrestling games because I'm a big pro wrestling fan. I have been since I was like three or four years old. It's just something I've grown up with, and I love playing wrestling games. But when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, kind of slim pickings. There's really three games worth talking about. You, of course, have the abomination known as WWE 2K18. That game can die in a fire, burn in hell. I never want to talk about it again. The other two games are definitely good games that I recommend, Wrestling Empire and Retromania Wrestling. Now, both games have strengths and both games have weaknesses. When it comes to Wrestling Empire, I do love the stuff that you could do within the game, such as the booking mode and the single career mode that you could do as well, basically as a freelance wrestler. But I feel like Wrestling Empire is more of a spectacle when you actually sit down and play a wrestling match i don't know it's not really the best feeling in the world it's more about doing crazy stuff in that game retromania wrestling is a lot of fun and it plays a lot like wrestlefest and you of course have licensed wrestlers but of course sometimes you want something a little bit deeper that wrestlefest gameplay style is fun but maybe you want something a little bit more serious and that's where action arcade wrestling comes along because this game is something I've been waiting for a very long time to come out on the Switch. Now, I bought this back on my Xbox, and I played this game, and I was like, okay, it's pretty cool. And then I got deeper into the game, and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need this on the Nintendo Switch. So what is Action Arcade Wrestling all about? What's up with the thumbnail I'm using talking about AEW? That's what we're going to figure out in this video. So if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and share the video. But without any further ado, let's talk about Action Arcade Wrestling for your Nintendo Switch. Now, originally, Action Arcade Wrestling was going to be a licensed title as a Chikara wrestling game. Now, Chikara was a big independent wrestling company that, unfortunately, some scandals came out with the head guy of Chikara, so they kind of distanced themselves away from the game and just made Action Arcade Wrestling. Now, upon, upon first inspection, you know, everything looks like you would have in a wrestling game. There's different types of match types, one-on-ones, battle royals, tag team matches, three-way dances, all sorts of stuff you could do, but you'll notice there's no like cage matches, there's no ladder matches or anything like that. They're all pretty standard matches. And then of course you have your roster of characters. Now, there's no licensed character, so you're looking at this roster and you're like, oh, okay, you know, there's some fun looking guys here. I'm sure they have some crazy moves and stuff like that. And then of course you have the gameplay. And the gameplay of the game is pretty similar to what we'd expect to see in wrestling games, but there's a couple twists added into it. One of the main twists is the fact that there's actually power-ups that you can acquire. Now, you can turn these off if you want to, but these power-ups will do different things like give you a reversal or do it so where you damage an enemy and whatever damage you dish out is the health that you regain. Things like that, resilience, speed, grapple counters, all sorts of stuff. But like I said, you could turn that off if you want to. The basic wrestling is, of course, strikes and grapples. There's weapons that you can have by ringside, or you can choose to have fans throw things into the ring. And, you know, it's a wrestling game. It's pretty fun. The gameplay is pretty good. But you might look at this game and be like, well, you know, there's not a lot of modes into it. There's not a lot of stuff going on to it. And it just seems like you're just average run-of-the-mill games. So as you can see, the gameplay of the game does look pretty fun with the in-game wrestlers. But I know what you're saying to yourself. RGT, I got two questions for you, buddy. First off, why did you lie? Because there's AEW stuff in the thumbnail of this video, yet I don't see any AEW stuff in this game. And the second question you have is, RGT, how can I protect myself online from predators and things like that? What's the best VPN? And that's what I'm here to tell you about Surfshark VPN. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Now, the internet is full of predators, weirdos, and people who just want to steal your information. So why not be protected by using Surfshark VPN for a safer internet experience? Surfshark VPN is a fast and easy to use VPN service that can be used on a variety of devices. I have it on my PC. I simply click a button and boom, now I'm protected online. Besides just offering protection online, Surfshark VPN allows you to do things like access Netflix and Hulu from other regions, plus a ton of additional features. Features. And right now, by clicking the link in the description box down below and using the code RGT, you can get Surfshark VPN for 83% off, which is the lowest it's ever been, plus an additional three months for free. One subscription allows you access to Surfshark from a variety of devices, such as a laptop, a cell phone, and even your Xbox and PlayStation consoles. So check out the link in the description box down below and protect yourself online with Surfshark VPN. And a huge thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. So now that we answered the second question, the first question is probably what you really want the answer to, and it's what's up with this AEW stuff, and that, my friends, 
is where the brilliance the sheer brilliance of this game shines through with the creator tool now the creator tool is actually an online application that you go in and you get on your computer and you actually mess around with the creator it's not an in-game thing so you're saying well okay so how do i get things aha uh -huh. Aha, because this game has released on other platforms, such as Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation, meaning that there is already a large curated uh, assembly line of wrestlers and arenas. And this, my friends, is where things get awesome because, I mean, I'm playing an AEW game. All these created wrestlers are already in here available to download. You can download up to 125 different things at once, including wrestlers and arenas. You simply search for the wrestler you want. Maybe you want a company as a tag title, and then it brings up the wrestlers. So what kind of stuff can you do in this? I mean, I'm playing an AEW game. Look at this. It's Sting versus MJF. Yes, Sting versus MJF in an AEW ring. All the wrestlers have moves that are applicable to them. The game doesn't have a super deep, robust library of different moves, but the moves are definitely there. Like, I'm winning with the Scorpion Deathlock here. You can see that there's other AEW wrestlers. Pretty much any wrestler you want, you just search for them, and then you could download them. So you can make dream matches. You can make your own sort of thing. And it's not just limited to the new stuff because... You know, as much as I love AEW, I'm also a big WCW fan. WCW Nitro was my jam. And now I'm doing Sting, WCW Sting, mind you, against Hollywood Hulk Hogan in a Monday Nitro ring. This is greatness because this is Sting from, you know, this is old Sting. This is and this is really where the whole game opens up because you could go into this roster of downloadable characters this roster of downloadable arenas and download whatever the hell you want and you you got the outsiders going here you know against the four horsemen tag team titles on the line pubic hair scott hall because his chest hair looks like a bunch of pubes and I guess tech technically, like, chest hair is kind of, no, chest hair is not really pubic-y. But his chest hair looks like pubes. We used to call him pubic hair, Scott Hall. Here's an outsider's edge for you, Mr. Ric Flair. Get on the ground. Oh, wait. Wait a second. What about some ECW? Oh, my God. It's Stevie Richards. Yes, he's back because I'm doing a three-way dance at the ECW arena with Sabu, Stevie Richards, and Tommy Dreamer. There's weapons. We're putting people through tables. We're hitting people with trash cans and chairs. We're doing high-risk maneuvers. And I'm just having so much fun. And I'm having so much fun because I love how much, you know, effort and time and care that the community put into this game to help out these two individuals it's not the greatest wrestling game in the world it's not up there with games like no mercy you know wcw nwo revenge smackdown here comes the pain but on the nintendo switch this is a standout title because there's nothing quite like it the gameplay is good enough to differentiate itself from the other wrestling games that are available on the platform the fact that you can download wrestlers from any era and any roster and any arena and put them in the game just adds so much more legitimacy to this game and it gives gives it a competitive edge when you're looking for wrestling experiences i mean let's be real here you could buy wrestling empire retro Mania wrestling and this game for the price of wwe 2k18 and you'll get a way better experience through these three games now this game retails for 15 dollars, and at 15 dollars, like it's an absolute steal they did send me a review copy to check out but i was sold on this game when i played it on the xbox i was like Holy shit, this is awesome. You could do up to 10 wrestlers in the ring. The game runs at 60 frames per second in handheld mode or in dock mode. Simply put, if you are a wrestling fan, there's no excuse for this game to not be in your library. I am telling you, folks, you can have so much fun. It's not a perfect game. It, it's definitely rough around the edges at times. I've had weird little glitches where like the table physics are a little bit off, but I don't care. I don't care because I'm having fun. I'm making my dream matches. I'm making, you know, classic matches. I'm doing whatever I want. Yeah, there's no sort of, you know, story mode or anything like that. You create your own story. You know what I used to do in WCW NWO Revenge? I would make matches and I would write them down on a piece of paper and I would put who was the winner and I would make an episode of Nitro. I'm doing it again in this game. It's like I'm 13 again. And you know what? I freaking love it, man. So Action Arcade Wrestling. Do not sleep on this game. It's actually on sale right now uh, for the launch of the game, too. So depending on when you're watching this video, it might still be on sale. But really, guys, head over to the eShop. This game kicks ass. I'm having so much fun with it. And really, until another wrestling game comes along, 
I'm happy. I'm happy with Retro Mania. I'm happy with Wrestling Empire. And I'm happy with Action Arcade Wrestling. The holy trinity, if you will, of wrestling greatness on your Nintendo Switch. So let me know in the comments section down below if you played this game on other platforms, if you plan on checking it out on the Switch. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and share the video. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.